Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. How are y'all doing? Welcome back to our personal space. Uh, last time we did some stuff. <laughs> We've seen if the mayor is going to get our um, lead character, Fartarella, an assistant at the mechanic shop. We're in the middle of the third month of 25, focusing on, I think, her creative stuff. I have some extra goat hair yarn if anyone would like. Else would care to make something with it. Sweet, we can knit a sweater. I'll give it a try. I was able to borrow a crochet needle from the library. I looked up how to crochet on my computer pad and started making a simple pot holder. Oh no, each row's just getting more and more narrow. I finally figured out that I needed to add an extra stitch at the end of each row before I finished, but I ended up with an hourglass shaped pot holder. You know, actually, all this creative stuff might not be bad. Because, like, if she learns how to do all this kind of domestic -y home things that you can make just naturally, but there are no stores to buy them at, or 3D printers to make them with, um, maybe she could sell them and make some money. Wow, you have an abnormally shaped pot holder on your first, uh, or on your first, wait, what? I've been drinking at work again, okay? Ah, oh. wow, you made an abnormally shaped pot holder on your first try crocheting? I would have just stuck with something boring like a square. You're really ambitious. Jackoff's really supportive. Yes, I did that on purpose, okay? So it won't flop around in your loser hands as much when you go pick something up, stupid. Oh, I'm... It'll work just fine, Blackberry. My next attempt turned out even more even, but I kept the first one around anyway as a reminder that some things aren't perfect, just like my husband, and that I shouldn't waste anything here. Month three of three. Welcome to month three of three, free time. I invited Sarah to come to the library and hang out with me. Why do they even like have a library? <laughs> Isn't everything just like on computers now? Mm, almost everything. Some things like blueprints and maps. I think this is the guy that originally had my normal voice. Oh, well, whatever. Are easier to look at on huge rolls of paper, huh? I draw on toilet paper and pretend I'm wiping my butt with an anxious scroll. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You can even print things out here if you want to. But make sure you recycle any papers you print out when you're done with them. It's not like we got some paper factory. Why did why did like why did you come here, Fartarella? Will you be my friend? We're already friends. Well, back on Earth, I used to like to go to bookstores and flip through books. This isn't really the same, though. Oh, I just read a great book. You take a look at it. What's it about? Well, there's like these fish people and fox people, and they like have this ancient feud. But then they hold a ball. Sometimes my husband makes me hold his balls. So I ain't not supposed to talk about that. At the underwater palace, it's hard to explain. You just gotta read it yourself. Wow, that's a great, that's a great book report right there. You don't have to take my word for it. Uh, that sounds interesting at least. Uh, I'll send it to you. We can be like fox and fish friends, like Momar the fox man and Sleeza the fish woman, and they became friends. We shared a few of the other book recommendations and talked for hours. It felt good to get out of the house at night, even if it was just to the colony library. Her poor husband's probably back at home digging another cellar. She's talking with a friend at the library. Even though we were on a new planet, we still kept track of what day it was on the Earth calendar. The seasons didn't match up or anything, but it helped us feel like we were still a part of things back home. For, oh, it, uh, what? It's his birthday this month. Uh, let's make him a present. No. Yeah, we're gonna make him a present. We went through all the work to do creative things. I bought and thought about what I could make him that he would like. Make him a beanie hat. I finally decided that I would make him a hat! Whoa, crazy. Uh, I could only work on it when he wasn't paying attention, so it went pretty slowly. Finally, I was able to finish it. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult when you share one bedroom house. You'd have to be out in the fields. I hoped he would actually like it, not just pretend he liked it, that lying fuckwad. Happy birthday, Jackoff. This is for you. Uh, a birthday present? Wow, thanks. Aha, uh -huh, this hat's perfect. It's going to keep the sun off my neck. It'll be warm in the cold wind, too. I'm going to be straight pimp. Yo, I can start my gangster rhymes. I'm glad you like it. 
I was happy I could show him my card, but I remember his birthday. And now it was time for birthday blowjobs. <laughs> That might be one of the grossest things I've ever done in an LP. We made it through another month on Talam. Um, what are we gonna do this month? Okay, let's check the messages. Just a reminder, please don't let kids play in the community center when no one else is there. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt by falling chairs or anything. Mayor Pavel Grayson, there is one child that we have seen thus far, and it's a motherfucking baby. I don't think it can even walk. Falling chairs, why on an alien planet full of unknown perils, and you worried about falling chairs? I would feel responsible if something bad happened at the community center. Well, you wouldn't be. Let the kids be responsible for themselves, or else they can't learn how. Well, I... The truth is that, like a mess of mud and stickers are on the corner, seems some children were building a fort. Where did these kids come from? Oh, well, yeah, I'll have them clean it up. No need to restrict the whole area, right? Oh, I forgot. Two of the parents said they had, like, ten kids. They just didn't show them. I suppose not, but we can't have messes in there. That area is for meetings and other colony business. Of course, I'll let them know. That was great. Drama. All right, her health is good. The relationship hasn't really seemed to grow much. Let's um focus on work, focus on creative, and spend some time together with them. I want to get that love going. We're never going to make babies otherwise. You would think they'd be having sex all the time in a one-bedroom house, you know? I worked hard as usual. Like usual, Jackoff wasn't hard at all. He wasn't fulfilling my needs, but the carrot was. <laughs> Our harvests were staying fairly fresh in the cellar, but I needed a way to organize which vegetables, vegetables were the oldest. Hey, where's our fucking food scientist? We got some idiot on here who's like, I'm a food scientist, I know how to preserve food! Well... Tell us how to do it, salted or something. I wanted to make some crates out of wood, but I wasn't sure how I'd manage it without nails. I got some wood from the storehouse and tried to figure out how to put it together. I could use, um... Let's see, we could ask Jack off for help. Does this fit under creative? Because if it's creative, she could do it herself. Let's ask her husband for help. Hey, Stinky Balls! Oh, that's her nickname for him. Do you have any idea how to make a crate out of these pieces of wood? We don't have any nails. Uh, any screws? Screw you. Nope, nuts. No nuts, no bolts either. Hey, just like you, no nuts. Hey, that's not, that's not funny. Um, how about lashing them together with some string? Well, I have that yarn I was going to practice crocheting with. Maybe that would work. Uh, yeah, let's try it. Why not? You could also use glue. Like, you could go kill the horse and render its hooves into glue. But that might be a short-sighted thing. We worked together to lash the slats together. It's kind of like sluts together, huh? That's not funny. Ugh. If I want to see a comedy, dude, I'll go to comedy dudes are us. And you're not very good at insults. Suck my clitoris. I made some serviceable crates. They wouldn't hold up well to transporting vegetables, but that was okay since they were going to sit in our cellar. Free time. That's much better than expensive time. One of the things I missed most about Earth was having our own shower and bath. We washed up daily with water from the well. We still enjoyed going to the community bath once a week to get really clean. Oh, and so you all spread diseases in the community bath? Gross. I really need to take a bath. Yeah, I know. I can smell your vag from over here. Smelly vag. Smelly, smelly vag. What is that? I'm working. It's a new song I'm working on. I don't really like it. I don't like your smelly patch. <laughs> I really don't know. It smells great. I love it. I changed my mind. It, it reminds me of your vag. So, yeah, it makes me horny. Uh, I sniffed the air. All I could smell was hay and compost and sweat. Ick. You need a bath, too. Let's go tonight. Yeah, sure. After dinner and dessert. You can eat me out. No, I ain't touching a smelly vag. You make dessert, though? What kind? I was thinking we'd, we'd maybe make some dessert together. Oh, that kind of dessert. Yeah, we, we could have the dessert first, you know. Sometimes it's fun to break the rules. No, dessert first. First, fuck the rules. Ah, life is short. Short, shirt? Ha, I meant short. Life is short. Let's eat dinner first. Dessert. And what a dessert it was. So does that mean like we're like having sex? 
Or were they like eating cupcakes? <laughs> I assumed they were sexing it up with like stinky balls and nasty vag. Afterwards, we packed up our towels and toiletries and headed down to the bathhouse. Please don't show the mayor naked. Please don't show the na mayor naked. That'd be hilarious if they all have to get in the tub together. We built a fire to heat up one of the tubs of water. Then we washed off and got in the hot water. Oh, yeah. It felt so good to soak and relax together. What if somebody walks in on you? Oh, that's it. That's it. Hopefully it was a romantic event. Or a thing, right? Uh, you spend a lot of time making crafts, don't you? Um, <laughs> I can tell him it's important. I can say he doesn't appreciate what I do. Or I can be like, you spend a lot of time reading. We're going to be defensive. You spend a lot of time reading. What about you? All I see is you read your little mangas. Yeah, I've been reading up on all the plants we're growing and scheduling out what needs to be done each week for preparing, planting, tending, and harvesting each field. I've also been researching ideal conditions for the strains of plants they gave us, so hopefully they'll, you know, grow. That sounds useful. I've been learning to make things out of native materials, like these placemats. Oh yeah, great, because everybody needs placemats. That's what you think in the middle of the winter. We're starving to death. Placemats. Oh, somebody blew a hole in the roof. What we need? Placemats. Oh, I cut myself. I have an infection. Placemats will solve that. Huh. So I guess it is good to be independent from Earth. We ended up staying up late, talking about all the things we'd been doing. And then I saw a beetle and I ate it. Ew, that's gross. And then I licked your pooty tang. Ew, I got beetle guts in your vag. No, you didn't. No. No, I didn't. The beetle scared me, and I wet myself, and I ran. Oh. <laughs> Talking about all the things we've done, I felt like I understood him a little better after that. Oh, so your name's Jackoff. What? Just kidding. And he seemed to appreciate what I was doing more, too. We made it through another month on Talam. Tell me they're getting closer. Tell me they're getting a little closer. That, that heart got a little bigger, right? And she's happy? He's not as happy. Why aren't you happy with me, Jackoff? I spend more time with you and you're less happy. Why can't you love me? So we're going to focus on work. We're going to focus more on creative things. Let's see how good she's getting. Ooh, 40. And we're going to spend some more time together. That worked out pretty well last time. I want them to get their heart all, all the way. Make some babies. Expand. Because otherwise the other families, they'll be the rich families in the future. I, I work hard at work. I worked hard at work as usual. <laughs> Me so good at work. Uh. I work hard for the money. Gotta give it to my honey. Month five of five. So we're one fifth of the way, or almost one fifth of the way through our stay on Talam. Jack off asked me if we had any rope to put into the loft of our barn and pull carts around. What is it, fucking Mario carts up there? I need my rope for bondage. I told him I'd look at the supply center next time I went into town. Oh, apparently there's a Home Depot. Evil Spock works there. <laughs> Do you have any rope? Yes! So can I have some? It's only for approved projects. Uh, I don't want to go through the red tape unless I have to. Punch him in the nuts. Maybe I can figure something else out. You can blow my blowhole. I took a long, I took a long look at the glo uh, long. Gr God dang it! Words are hard. I don't know how to read. I took a look at the long grass as I found earlier and pulled it apart to get fibers, which I twisted into strings. See, it's a good thing we worked on our creative skills. Rope is basically a bunch of strings, right? So I twisted the strings together to make a thin rope. It wasn't very long, but I made enough of them to pull a wagon with. Hell yeah, resourceful! Fuck you, community! We're gonna become capitalism, and you communists who didn't learn how to make rope will be at the mercy of my rope monopoly! And I'll hang you all. Ah, uh, this is great. It's amazing what you can make with the right sources. Resources, even. Yeah, I can think of a few things I'd like to use it for, too. You know, maybe in the bedroom? Oh, you mean to hang up pictures? No, to tie things up? Um, and like letters? And boxes? You're so stupid. Um, but like giving some of our livestock a leash or making a backpack? Maybe I could tie you in the backyard so you don't go see other women. What? Are you going to make a leash for me, too? It's kind of funny I said that, and then Jackoff asked that. 
Only if you want one. It's hot, dude. Do it. Be her sex slave. Do it. <laughs> Free time. We played video games together on our computer pads. We like to play on the same team. Aw, that's romantic. I was going to say, I wish I had a woman like that, but usually when people are like, Hey, would you like to play a game with me? I'm like, go oh, fuck yourself in your face! <laughs> Little kid. Oh, that's a great place to put that ice tower. Shut up, Farter! I'll quit patronizing me! I will play my tower defense game how I want! I know, it hits them just right when they first come in. And it slows them down so they get hit by my fiery balls! Perfect! I wish you liked my fiery balls. One more level? I'll probably regret it tomorrow, but bring it on! Aww! That's sweet! They actually bonded some! For once they didn't hate on each other and she wasn't a bitch to him. <laughs> the village council asked me, or asked us to do a waste assessment. Is that to like, see how much we've been pooping? Well, it looks like half a bucket full today. To see how, how much and what kind of materials we needed to permanently dispose of. If the amount of waste was too high, they told us that future colonists would be limited. Our waste pile was fairly small. You're on a planet of your own. You can have as much waste as you want. Throw it anywhere you want. It's new. Pollute. We'd already uh, composted any organic material that we didn't eat. So there were things like packaging from MREs, a broken dish, and a, wear, and a pair of worn out socks. Yeah, that's a really big deal. You have your own planet. There's some MRE packaging. <laughs> One broken dish and one pair of worn-out socks. Oh no, you've destroyed the environment! <laughs> you threw away a pair of perfectly good socks? Uh, well, they have holes in the heels and the rest of the material is getting thin. I wasn't sure if they were compostable. We can't just throw away things when they, like, when they break like we did on Earth. We need to take care of this planet for future colonists. Oh my word. And the life forms that are already here. Uh, what should we do with all this junk, then? I want it. I so want to be like, I'm sick of making the decisions. You make the decision for once. But then again, we've been making her creative, so I'm going to be like, I could use the broken dish to make an artwork or maybe a shiv. If the crushed dish, if I crush the dish pieces even further, I can make a mosaic with it. Is that really the biggest problem this, this, um colony has one broken dish I think you <laughs> I kind of feel for Jackoff Jackoff is busting his ass building a cellar for food for the winter cooking food and she's like you broke it you put away some socks that are torn up and I found a broken dish oh we gotta deal with that he's like I want people to eat uh, well I'm saying it's great and all but that's not very practical maybe you could shut the fuck up and believe in my work or maybe you could use them at the bottom of a uh, planted potted plants to maybe them help them drain better and stuff yeah okay okay may maybe there's a way I could use that we ended up throwing some of the waste items away but I felt good about the effort I put in we made it through another month until um poor poor jack off busting his ass all the time oh man poor jack off look how worn he is getting she's all happy and he's just like Oh my fucking god. I have to bust my ass all the time and then I have to deal with her. But they did have a sweet moment playing Ice Tower game together. What were the new colony messages? I don't remember his voice, so I'm just using mine. Hey, my corn was doing fine, but the ears don't seem to be growing any bigger. Anyone else having this problem? Uh, mine as well. I noticed some tiny white dots under the leaves. Maybe insect eggs. Uh, they're not any worms or aphids. Uh, I think it's something native. Okay, I'll let you know if I find anything out. Moonrise over the south hills. Pick attached. Oh my god. Okay, so basically this is... The farmers are like, there's something that's limiting our crop growth. This could be super bad. And Farnarell's like, I took a picture! Beautiful, you're quite the photographer. Do you have new family pictures? I want to send some back to Earth with a Christmas card. Sure, let me know when and where. Shouldn't we all worry about the food situation here, not pictures? She's going to have to focus on work, focus on creative, and I think she'll spend some time together with um, Jack. No, we're going to spend some time alone. With alone. Maybe that'll help Jack off rest a little bit. 
I'm not sure. Month six of six. So this is where we're going to end it. Everybody survived so far. Um, when we take off, off bleh, next time we'll be back. Apparently something with the mayor. I want to thank you all for watching. I don't know. I, I like how she's developing as more and more creative. And her and uh, Jack off seem to be getting along a little better. I want them to make babies, though. Shoot them out of your vagina hole. Be a mom already. You can be a sexy milf. Hopefully they get a lot of colonists, because otherwise within a couple generations, I think everyone's going to be related to each other. Incest plan!